And we're streaming now. Hey guys, I'm back. Oh. So, I, I, why are you sad that I'm here now? Thank you. Yeah. Oh yeah, you always ruin everything. Oh yeah, that's what dragons do. People Just, love it. You take and then you leave. <laughs> We just take and never let go. Well, I don't know about the let go part. I mean, there have been times you've dropped me off ledges. Yeah, I should be able to stream the entirety of Blue Shift tonight. It's not exactly the world's longest game in any way whatsoever. I'm waiting for YouTube to catch up. <coughs> that was absolutely disgusting. I don't know what you're talking about, good sir. <laughs> That didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. I, I blame it on you. Well, usually I do make people cough. Well, yeah. Yeah, and usually with uh, Dre. Okay. Uh, we'll be starting a new game. Let's just put it on medium difficulty. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the comfort of Black Mesa residents and visitors to the Black Did I miss it when expansion Mesa packs were made like this? Fuck yeah. Well, the more of the posing force than Blue Ship. I mean, Blue Ship was good, it was just really short. I really like this whole beginning tram ride on Blue Ship because, you know, you get the sense that there's a lot of important shit going on at the beginning, like something's wrong today. Do I have this turned up really loud? Did, have you ever I forgot how bad the flashlight was in Half Life One? <laughs> <laughs> this train is inbound. Did you ever uh, stop the game and uh, go into no clip off of the tram to see what's going on in like the background elements? There's a lot of shit happening around here. Same thing with the beginning of Posing Force. Like, there's so many just subtle nods to the original game. It feels like this is like half fan service, half an actual game. Like there's that crazy guy who's driving a forklift at like 60 miles an hour, dude. Dude, the forklifts in this game go so quickly, I don't understand. Yeah. He drives it across that huge fucking room and he up that huge like 90 degree ramp in like two seconds. It reminds me of the freaking, uh, what were those things called in uh, Battlefield 3 and I think it was in 4 as well. The little gopher cart things or whatever? Or the, they were like the weird forklift, no they, were, they had the little thing in the front where you can like lift people and everyone just ran everyone else over. Grizzlies? Grizzlies, what the fuck are you talking about? The, the, the little tractor cart thing? That's a really nice looking cafe I have to say. The sector B or C medium oh, security I lines. I tried to look at it as you said that, and I'm like, what are you talking about? The central transit hub at the area nine. No, no, they're like eating pizza there on the side. The well, I mean, if you have scientists that are like this high level of caliber, I would expect them to keep them happy. Well, they can make lasers, so I wouldn't fuck with them. Even though most of them seem to be complete pussies. <laughs> you hit them once in the knee and they run away. Start yelling. Stream's stopping every now and then. Have a good one, Calhoun. This train is now uh, you want to look at the YouTube stream to see if that's running well? Alright. Or sounds fine for that matter. Area. I didn't do a whole lot of testing of the audio, so I don't know how loud it is. Be sure to wear your identity. It should be fine, but it sounds really loud in my headset. Are you passing the part where there's the, uh, the helicopter and it's landed yet and it's about to take off? There's the guy with the forklift. There's two forklift guys. I like how the wheels don't even turn. Yeah, yeah, he just shoots along. Now arriving at Area 3 security facilities. You're low priority. Personal <laughs> safety. Gee, thanks. That's like oh. some Wayland yutani shit. 
everyone's expendable. What, like materials and experiments, highest priority. Hold on a minute. The door's not responding to your pass ID. Let me see if I can get it open on this side. Oh, don't forget to get a look in the tram that comes after. I'm like looking at that right as you're talking about. <laughs> I love what we just kind of glitches back and forth. Oh, he's fading in and out of reality. Okay, I think I got it. Sorry about that, Calhoun. We've been I fucking love that about old games, morning. like the physics System glitches when two security. objects Not move together. It's a wonder this what whole physics? place hasn't shut down yet. Oh god. I forgot about that. Yeah, it should sound and look fine. Nice of you to show looking up at it. this morning, Calhoun. Yeah, yeah, I know. Problems with the access system. Hope you're ready for a long shift. I can't access my files. I can't answer my mail. This guy's a dick. I haven't even been able to get into my office. I know, Mr. Computer sir, I know. Dude. We're doing everything yeah, we can to get the problem under control. Oh Just yeah, the YouTube one time. is uh, a little bit better. Yeah, I was just making sure that it, that one was running fine. So. Yeah, the uh, the YouTube one, or not the YouTube, uh, the Steam one. It's uh, cutting out every now and then, but it's Strange. a little further more synced up. Bill, what's wrong with my speech tonight? Tonight? <laughs> you know what I mean, damn it. Oh god, this is going on YouTube. Ugh. You're on, it's already on YouTube. Well, just, god damn it, you know what I mean. <laughs> fucking dragon son of a bitch. Go, Calhoun. I know you're not on the schedule for a couple more days, but like everyone is so fucking bored. The They're just like, oh, just... you're here and work today? Good. Let me find the time out of my schedule to look off fucking porn from the computer or my magazine. This Here's your out. gun. <laughs> this donut motherfucker. Okay, just making sure the sound effects work. So I'm using the HD models for this one. Uh, I wasn't sourced because the sound effects didn't work correctly. Like, I would reload the pistol and it wouldn't do anything. I'm really sad that they didn't bring back Otis. Good hi, Gordon. Morning, Gordon. I got two people just said hi to him. Oops. How the fuck do I get out of here? There we go. Eh, off to kill a million people. <laughs> I'm just off to fuck everything up, guys. Usual business. There's those chicks down below, or that one specifically. Uh, Gina, the hazard course lady. Yeah. Oh, look, they're moving the test sample. How much do you think Barneys get paid? Do you think they're minimal wage employees? Uh. I can't assume they would be very much. It's probably like a dollar or two above minimum wage. God, that would fucking suck. Like, they don't look like they're very motivated, you know? Well, I mean, would you be? Like, every, like if you look at everyone at their desk, they're just sort of like, Oh, fuck, I hate my job. Oh, yeah, this. Quick save. Can't you steal from like all the walkers? Did 
Damn, I need literally every single bullet, and I already spent one. There's a little tiny frog in that box. Uh, there's more magazines in the other lockers. Are there? Uh, yeah, you spilled a problem. I think you, I think you can't going. access it until everything gets all fucked. I like how you can just steal shit out of people's lockers. Read the names. These are some weird ass names, too. He looked at you for a second like you were about to shoot him in the face. That was weird. I thought Truck. Locked... Uh oh, now what? Looks like some people Polly. are having problems with the main access lift in sector. Do you D. think these are developer Why don't names? You go over there and see what you can do. I have no idea. I wasn't listening to where I need to go. Not upstairs, I don't think. Do I need to go upstairs? I don't remember. I'm sure it's out. Yeah, no, I remember now. Yeah, if you destroyed the uh, the vending machines in this, if I recall, like the uh, the scientists freak out and they're like, "What the Have fuck is wrong with down. you?" <laughs> or just some workplace shootings. <laughs> just target practice. Oh, oh there, there were the vending machines back there. Yeah, I'm just kind of ignoring them. I was having weird frame rate issues where I was like 30 frames, and now it's like back to being stable 60. I was odd. I'm thinking, perhaps. All right. Yeah. So uh, Otis's locker back there it had like uh, conspiracy books about the moon landing, if I recall. That doesn't sound right. Let me help you. Yeah, it does. Okay. I hope you know what you're doing. Of course. Theoretically. <laughs> You smell something burning? I can't really tell. Right. Let's try this. <laughs> ah! oh! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's always the best thing, theoretically. Well, do you have any idea what to do next? I couldn't even venture a guess. Never let scientists try to work on something an IT person should be working on. <laughs> Like the IT department at Black Mesa must hate these guys so much. Probably better off walking it. I overheard someone say that all the tram. Wait a minute, let me see something here. Video. Okay, I know what I need to do. Got to alt tab real quick. Squeakiest chair. My chair. <laughs> so you start squeaking it more. <laughs> well, that's why you have a squeaky chair. You can squeak for dramatic effect. Did I fix? I think I fixed. Might have to restart the game, but uh, for now it seems fixed. I had vertical sync turned on in the NVIDIA control panel, which the only thing that was doing... Holy crap, I just threw that barrel. The only thing that was doing is just locking my frame rate, oddly. God, this amazing flashlight. Uh, I'm going to quick save and restart the game real quick. One sec, guys. Who is trying to message me on <coughs> Skype? Why are you singing? I, I don't know. I just started singing compulsively. Because, I mean, Wait, they can still hear us. They just couldn't see the game. Now they can oh. See. Well. <laughs> so oh, they, well. They singing, so. Hi, Bear. Hi. How's it going? As long as you don't have Echo. 
I do mind reading going here. Headphones. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do something for you that will make it snake. <laughs> what? Shut up. No. Here, watch over here, uh, and you will have less delay. G-Man, you fucker. Who can get another invited thing? Oh, okay. right, I needed to restart it, so I'm gonna need to invite you again, Snake. Yeah, it seemed like it stabilized. Yeah, I had to restart the game to change the vertical sync of the control panel. Goddamn UV sync. It works with some games, it doesn't work with others. It's so strange. Usually adaptive seems to be the best option. I don't know if it'll lock my frame rate so young. Yeah, you know, that sound, it uh, sounds a lot similar to the uh, the temple door noises you hear in a lot of games, where it's like the big heavy stone doors coming down. Dude, old games have the most grainy well, sounding thing time. sound effects. We don't well, it's like uh, a lot of those sound effects, it's just like they'll take steel or uh, coke cans and they'll just crush them up and then they'll just turn the grain super low. I'm a security guard, not an IT guy. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> what a fucking asshole! <laughs> wow! Oh, I love those special little animals. I like how the other scientists gave no shits about that. Wow, what? Really? The fucking. Should you wipe his ass too? He's too lazy to push a goddamn button? Too hard, dabbling in who knows what. You're gonna I'm hold his hand too? Battlefield simulator. Oh, well, there aren't gonna be any good brains among them soon, I and mean, they're all about to die. Black and white security guards sound the same. Security guards? Scientists? Black and white security guard? Did you use that uh, black version of Otis, like we said? <laughs> no, 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 wait, he was a janitor. <laughs> this is the part I remember more than anything else in any Half-Life game. Everything gets so fucked. I went through the elevator. What? What? Um. <laughs> hey, is that black scientist dead in the corner? Like, before oh. anything bad even happened? Something exploded next to him. That was fucking weird. <laughs> I had never seen that happen before. <laughs> Man, the scientists, they're just dying like flies. Now how is he gonna eat that guard? He doesn't have a mouth. Maybe they eat with their eyeballs. So like uh, about half of those boxes, they're full of motherboards and sticks of RAM. Yeah, I don't know why there's so much tech in these boxes. Like, uh, what they kind of, skull. uh, do you think they use AMD or NVIDIA? See, I don't want to say I've always been on the NVIDIA side because I once want to use AMD. 
and then swapped because I got sick of their driver shit. <laughs> like, I used a 4870 for the longest time, and that thing was amazing. It never failed me. Switched to a 5870, had nothing but driver issues, and then got a 480 uh, GTX and never had any more driver issues ever again. I was always an NVIDIA person. I never really had any issues with them, you know, they're so reliable. I mean, you pay more, but they're... I always prefer them. They always just work better for me. Yeah. Like, uh, AMD recently, they were, uh, they made some accusations that NVIDIA was purposely sabotaging their shit. NVIDIA has always kind of said some, done some shady shit, to be honest. Oh, the door just opens. I'm dumb. Oh, Jarek. Oh, Jarek. I've heard that before. Or in a much higher pitch, I imagine. Well, yeah, you kind of are a woman. Calhoun! <laughs> God damn it. How did you get through the power line? I am a very well, manly man. Matter. The only other way out of here is through the canal. If you do make it to the surface, don't tell anyone I'm down here. I think they're trying to kill us all. Now get out of here. The canal is where you want to be. Bear, where are you? Please leave me alone. I don't want them to hear us. If you want to escape, go through the canal. You know, you could give me a little more information. Who's they? I hear typing. It's like, uh, whenever you're in a game like this and Ow. people are purposefully, like, leaving out critical information. There are questions I, that need to be asked. Whatever, it's not important. Sure, take this key. It's like, what's this key for? Don't worry, you'll find out. Don't worry, you'll figure it out. That one vague asshole. It's like that terrible boss who just expects you to know everything. It's like, a, it looks like every other house key. It's a masterpiece key. There's billions of them. Don't worry, you'll figure it out. Just try to open every door you come across. It'll be okay. It's not breaking and entering if you have the key. Like, those old uh, RPG tropes where, like, uh, characters just go into everyone's house and root through their shit and take it, and it was always fantastic. Look at all these boxes. I love how the crowbar works in this game. Like, instead of opening the box, you just beat the shit out of it. And also beat the shit out of bodies so they explode. Oh, the, the Zen creatures, they just have such lovely gibbs. Like the thick, pulpy, uh, yellow. dangerous it is to like grab something in this game because it just goes flying. With a crate? Yeah. Well there's like a cliff right next to it and you need it. It's like shit. I threw it up the Yeah it was a bit uh wild and then the ice back in the gold source days. All these rust textures just reminds me of Silent Hill. 
Silent Hill came ar out around this time, didn't it? Yeah. Like around the same year? Somewhere around the early, uh, I think it was like middle of the PlayStation lifetime. Like uh, that um, first section where they had the body torn up in the fence, uh, like that got really big around this time. Silent Hill used to be such an amazing franchise. Yeah, until it got run into the fucking ground. And then got brought back just to get killed off again. Oh, you, would you be talking about Homecoming and the movies? No, I'm talking about Silent Hills that got fucking cancelled. Shotgun. I'm still mad about that. Uh, is leave it to Konami. Like the playable trailer one still going on or no they they removed that entirely from the servers you can't even download it and it's gone they like canceled everything really that you whole thing really been... you were really out of the loop i don't i stopped keeping track of silent hill years ago like ever since homecoming and downpour like i was just like fuck that series I still love how amazing the shotgun is. Just the HD model for the shotgun is so much better. Uh, I love the little clickety clack when you uh, cock the shotgun shell. You cock the shotgun shell. The actual shell itself. Yes. This game is so much louder in my headphones than it is in the stream. Like, holy crap. Derek, did you pushed happen? that button five times. If it didn't work the first time, it's no, not push it more. On the 25th. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Oh, I didn't go this way. Maybe if I push it again, something different will happen. Jackal, jackal. That's a jackal. God, I love how annoyed Mookie gets at this point when he hears that. <laughs> <laughs> Every single time I introduce so someone to him. Bad. Oh. Every single time I introduce someone to him, they just say that a million times. Oh, it never fails too. I think I did it. Someone else I know did it when they first met him. See, I did it, but I did it with the logic of I bet he hears this a lot. It'll make him really mad. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a dick. Like, I heard you call him a jackal, and I was like, jackal? Jackal? And then he went like, oh no, or something like that, and I was like, oh, yes. Usually at this point, when he, someone says it, he's like, are you sure? Do you need to ask five more times? Pause it. <laughs> it's like, I love this. Oh, he's just so fantastic, you know? God, this shotgun sounds so amazing. I really wish they had more of uh, you finding your melee weapon buried in someone's body, like you when you get the knife. So I love that you can just kind of just do this instead. Like I can't make this jump, but whatever, barnacle. Like it's buried in the. Spine in the back of an alien slave, which is incredible. In the back of a Vorigon, yeah. So you're. I didn't need all those medkits, but you know. Oh god, this. I think you have to uh, get on that pipe down below. I'm way past that already. Well, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. That Barney, man, he just gave up hope. <laughs> Fuck the scare. So, uh, in the 4.0 version of this Ben Co op mod, they actually uh, completely reworked the AI for most of the monsters. Uh, you can't just jump on top of the head crab zombies and they derp out. Fun 
on his vent co-op is constant loading. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, loading depending on the map. It's especially bad on servers that have really bad plugins. I wonder if the Snark Cafe server is still up. You're a Snark. Yes. Oh, jeez, there's so many goddamn mothers there. They got motherboards for days in Black Mesa. Need more. Like, uh, on the bit of uh, boxes full of old-fashioned electrical technology, uh, the first Fast and the Furious movie came out like 20 years ago today. Oh my like, god. Like, yeah. Sorry to interrupt you, but somebody just started fucking ranting about how the Jackals in Halo 2 on Legendary would just one-shot you out of fucking nowhere with their stupid sniper beam rifle bullshit. <laughs> That's the most rage-inducing thing. Whoa. Uh, do you remember what they were stealing in the big heist in what? the first Fast and Furious movie? <laughs> um, so I found out how physics work. They didn't work like I thought they worked. Can I jump on this? Mm -hmm. I can. <laughs> this is exactly how this is supposed to work. Sky, your stream isn't lagging behind. That's just how YouTube streaming works. There's like a minute delay with it. Uh, I can easily just throw a stream in my to watch on Steam instead. Uh, this is my favorite chapter right here. Oh god. I forgot about that. Grenades! <laughs> What do you want, Sook? I saved. That dropped me so much little help. That one time it didn't. You're alive? You stop that. You know what I just, uh, like, Gordon Freeman never wears a helmet. And he has to deal with the most head crabs, but Shepard and uh, Barney, they both have helmets. 
I just remembered this. Here, let me uh going to invite someone to start watching on. All right. To the Steam thing instead. The Steam thing. The the uh the Steam broadcast instead of the uh the youtube one because it's like the i also probably should why did i open up the options there when i wanted to open the options in here let's see broadcasting okay i think by default the microphone that it's using in the steam broadcast is using my my condenser mic so you, mm. so you hear nothing but like keyboard clacking Did I miss the shotgun? So much. See, you missed bull squids, though. Yeah, I missed like all the enemies in Half Life Lime, but they were just more fun. There is so much more variety in Half-Life 1, like in Half-Life 2 is basically all zombies or combine. With the occasional strider, which really wasn't that fun to fight anyway. Mm. Yeah, I was never a big fan of the combine. I like the, uh, the old Half-Life 1 grunts infinitely more. I made that headcrab explode, I wasn't even trying to do that. Did you hear about uh, how the uh, FIFA officials are getting arrested for corruption charges? I'm somehow not surprised. Apparently America is charging 16 of them with corruption and uh, money laundering, amongst other things. And uh, fixing uh, the games at the World Cup to see who would win. Oh wow. Hi, Suk. I didn't realize. That's actually really cool. <laughs> Did that setting get turned back on? Uh... Mouse. No, auto-aim is turned off, so why is it... Man, the aiming in this game does some very, very weird things. Uh, no you are not, Suk. Give me a second. Broadcast, Steam broadcast is still going, right? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if all tapping would still up. Ooh, 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 I'm getting so tired, Jarek. You're making me bored. Making me <laughs> tired. Wow, thanks. I was. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Suk. I, I was so confused. I'm like, you added me to this, and I'm like, how in the fuck do I voice all this shit? So, I have learned that um, <laughs> when somebody's watching your stream, if they actually type in the comments in the stream, it'll pop up in the top left of my screen. I didn't know that. Wait, huh. oh, really? Yeah. I mean, I can disable it. I just didn't know that they would do that. Uh, 
Ah, great. I have to hear Jarek twice. Uh, you can mute that. Oh, again. Okay. Yeah. But then there's no game audio. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but also, the game audio also has you guys in the call too, so then you'll be hearing yourself twice as well. Alright, here we go. I'm fine with watching. Where's my water? Hmm. Ow. Wow, well, I'm just retired, generally. Like, I'm gonna stop yawning. Like, yeah. Yawning is not allowed. You know what happens when you yawn and there's faggots in there? Wow, everything blew up. I, I will yawn if I please. No. Snakes yawning are like, your face is breaking. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I wonder what happens if a snake yawns and then something like hooks onto its fangs. What? <laughs> That's a good probably just get really confused and start freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we have to get it off no matter the cost. I just heard Jarek stream through someone else. So did I. <laughs> Jake's like, ah, oh, is that what I sound like? <laughs> That's not amazing. <laughs> Just making all the headcrabs explode. I should turn that off. There we go. I still will wait for Half-Life 1 over Half-Life 2. It's just more fun. I don't know, I... I like the story of Half-Life 2 more than the story of Half-Life 1, but the, the the gameplay of Half-Life 1 just feels better. Yeah, Half-Life 1's gameplay was like a um, masterpiece, I might use the word. Uh, I, I wouldn't I don't say... feel the same for 2. See, I would say like that's it's a strong the, uh, word to use these days. I would say I prefer the uh, story of Half-Life One because there's the lack thereof, more or less, and it doesn't get in the way of the gameplay at all. Like it was mostly implied in the background. Pretty much. Whereas in like Half-Life Two, a lot of the times is like you've played the game already and you're trying to get through it, but now you're stuck in fucking Black Mesa East again. Yeah. I don't like, know. There's uh, there's positives and negatives to each. Like in the old one, it was like uh, you go down, and then when you come back up to the surface, everything's fucked. And you're Shouldn't like, Shouldn't you be oh. used to going down? God damn it, Jarek. <laughs> this is gonna go on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't want people knowing of how gay you are. <laughs> I am not gay, good sir. Every snake is gay, it's just a fact. I don't that's, know how you create, I don't know how your species exists. Sir. You're Aren't spreading horrible stereotypes. Aren't <laughs> Wait, aren't snakes like dick chiefs? Dick chiefs? What the fuck dick does that chiefs. mean? Chiefs. Chiefs. Sheath. Like a, a oh, sword chief. Okay, no, I know what you're saying. <laughs> I heard dick I chief. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't fair because you outnumber me right now, goddammit. <laughs> I outnumber both of you combined. This is what dragons do. Oh, hey, the door opened. That guy got double barreled with face with one barrel. Oh. Oh, oh god damn it. Oh no. Yeah, I never understood that. How does that thing shoot two rounds with one barrel? I figured they would have just added <laughs> oh, an that actual... That fucking guy just got so owned. You figured they would have added just a straight up double barrel to Half Life 2, but no, they kept the same like single barrel, non existent double barrel thing. Yeah. Oh, Cursed Hawkins. Don't you say that. I got lost in Half Life 2 a few times. Ow. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Did you get lost? I, in okay, one of the. Hand? So I had played. I actually had played Half Life 2 before I played Half Life 1 because I didn't have a computer set until later. And uh, when I played Half Life 2, it was on the console. And. Oh, well, you mean the, like, the bad lock on aiming? <laughs> Yeah. I don't understand, like, man, that's when you know that they couldn't get the game to run that well on consoles when it comes to a controller by just being like, you know what, there's an enemy over there, click a button and now you're not gonna miss. Eep. 
like a congratulatory you win button. But no, I got lost because I've never played a game like Half-Life 2 before. And I got to the part where you're driving the airboat and you have to get the water barrels up underneath that cage to lift it up. I never thought about that. So I was like, what the fuck do I do here? And I'm like going all the way back and then all the way back and then all the way back and exploring everything. I'm like, what the hell? Where do I go? I was confused. I was stuck there for like an hour and a half. And then I went under water, like just kind of wandering. I'm like, wait, oh. does this game have physics like this? And I grabbed a barrel. What the hell? There's the and it started going. Saw like, puzzle with the blocks in the first part of the game. What do you mean it doesn't have physics? Well, I didn't know. I didn't think about that. In oh, for, oh my god. Oh. I. You need to not do that and have a grenade. But I don't, I don't really understand how you get stuck in Half-Life 2, though, with how linear it is. Like, I can understand getting stuck, not getting lost. I mean, you were, getting lost is the wrong word to use, because you know where to go, you just didn't know how to go to where you needed to go. See, that, uh, that's the thing. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm talking to the banana nana, whatever his name is. Um, when I was younger, my parents did not, uh, they had a PC, but they would not allow me to play on it. And I was not allowed to get my own PC because they did not like the ideal of an open internet. So, which is why I got a console. What and the then fuck later is on, going on my mouse? that reminds me of this kid I knew in high school who had like these insanely conservative Christian parents yeah. who had like a timer on their computer with like an eight digit punch code. They and had it, a, like, the, the timer on the power switch. Yeah, it was like, uh, it, like if you do all your chores, you can get 30 minutes of computer time. And then, like, she was this super Catholic woman who had braids down to her ankles. And, like, she wore, like, one of those dresses that didn't show any skin. And he'd always talk about, oh, I have to work for five hours. And then they reward me with internet. She stands over my shoulder and watches make sure I don't go on any dirty sites. And I'm like, wow, it's fucking sucks to be you. Yeah, that would suck horribly. So, I had a glitch happen, and I had the to alt-tab to fix it, because the game was making me walk to the left non-stop after it loaded. So right. Alt-tabbing fixed it. I don't know why I did that, but I wasn't it's, pushing a button okay. and I was walking left. So it's 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 uh, the memory system in the game. You, you hold a button, and certain part loads in, even if you let go, it still thinks you're holding. As far and as I know, this game doesn't... Oh god, pull it down. As far as I know, this game doesn't buffer me. Not like, freaking killing for one day. Oh god, so this part. If I get rid of this glass here, suddenly boarding on back alive. That's Wait, what... wait. <laughs> wait, wait. Right. Hold on, hold on. No, yeah, this stream's a little delayed on Steam, so I'm watching it. Rescued at last. Thank god you're here. But... I'm afraid I'm not... Yeah, the the Steam stream is even uh, is delayed as well. Yeah, it's delayed, but it's nowhere near as bad as YouTube. It's to be expected yeah. that there's gonna be some delay. I think Twitch does it the best, but I don't get money off Twitch, so. Yeah. Too bad you can't Twitch through YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> How would that work? <laughs> uh, those frozen stream stream. <laughs> Like no, that still wouldn't work. I was gonna say stream Twitch through YouTube, but <laughs> you'd still be streaming through YouTube, so it wouldn't work. Like, uh, like back when I was like 10 years old, uh, I got mailed a frozen frog that had been flash frozen with like a fire extinguisher and like a bowl of water, and I was like, why? Wow. Uh, one of my family members in Indiana is really fucked up. And I thought you were going to say India. <laughs> Indi yeah, <laughs> India, totally. <laughs> like, they're a Hindu. But no, it was like, um, they called me one day, and they were like, Hey, I mailed you a huge bullfrog I found. I was like, you, you can't mail a frog, man. It'll die in the factory. It's like, no, I froze it. And I think, what? Yeah, I put it in a bowl of water, and then I shot it with a fire extinguisher, and I flash froze the frog, and I mailed it to you in a box. And How's sure it gonna enough, stay frozen? I, I have no clue, but the fucking thing arrived frozen in an ice cube, so we put it in a bowl and let it thaw out, and sure enough, this thing was still alive. We kept it for like two months before I let it go in the local pond in Poway. How in the... F 
Did they like overnight that shit to you? I I don't know. Like this, it just came and we unfroze it and it was perfectly fine. We fed him goldfish. The fuck? <laughs> like, that motherfucker was durable. Like the cheddar cheese goldfish? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, because that's what frogs eat, right? <laughs> Well, it would make Honestly, sense. Honestly, that's- If I was a frog, I'd want to change cheese goldfish. Fuck. Honestly, that's like, I was playing the game and not thinking about it, so that was my first assumption, and I made no thought to that. <laughs> like, for some reason, I instantly was like, oh, there's nothing weird about this. No. I'm afraid I'm Jake, not walk in front of that. <laughs> Gotta get me some cheddar cheese goldfish. <laughs> that's like the number one amphibian reptile snap. <laughs> reptile snapple? Yes. Snapple and goldfish, it's what snakes and frogs want. Jake, what happens if you kill a scientist? Those? Uh, that's not the scientist I need, so I think I can If it's a critical mission scientist, then the game will give you like a game over and it'll show some text about how you failed to properly uh, work and cooperate with human resources or some shit. Wow. It's like, uh, he, uh, he wasn't good on the job. You know, there was something, um... Jake, oh God. there are people on Twitch who, they stream on Twitch, and when they have it captured, uh, they, after they capture everything, they, they do full uploads, and then they'll also do partial edits and everything, and they'll put it up on YouTube. Why can't you just do that? Oh, is that the tank on the, uh... It is. You oh, know how God. much more work that is? Mm. I have no reason to. Yeah. There's plenty of people that do it, though. <laughs> I have no reason to because I can get money while streaming live. Yeah. And I can just, like, automatically upload it. And the quality's fine. It's just a little bit of delay. Yeah. You know, I'd really like to see just a full map of Black Mesa that also charts the cat, uh, the path of all three characters. Yeah. That tank is the slowest fucking thing ever. Who would leave a tank here anyway? Well, like, how is it going to get out of this area, mind you? How did they get it in, is my question. Look well, at the it, doors it, the, to the tank. position is that they, you know, brought it in by train, but are they going to unload it in here, or...? Mm. <laughs> this is how real life is. They just get boxes to um, warehouses, and then people run up and start beating with a crowbar, and it breaks. Like yeah, uh, I was talking about that earlier. <laughs> like the first time I played Half Life, I made no like thought about that. Like whatever, I have a crowbar. And I'm like, this isn't how you open boxes with crowbars. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, he has a crowbar, and there are so many broken and jammed doors that he could just force open. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I can demolish this huge freaking crate. A door that's jammed but partially opened. How the fuck do I get through here? That always pisses me off <laughs> in games where they're like, uh, like say Resident Evil, where man. they're like, the door is jammed. I'll never be able to open. It's like, I'll just fucking kick this thing open. No one would ever think of that. God, I hate all the, uh, the grenades fly in random directions if you're strafing with an outlet one. Blair Grills has entered the chat. Yeah, it's been here pretty much the entire time, uh, but he lagged out, I guess. Probably no, just this, the Steam servers. His name immediately makes me think of Bear Grills. Well, I believe that's, that's the, the implication. Why is it Blair then? Because his name is probably. What's the joke behind that? No, that could be. True. Blair is your real name, Blair. I'm gonna want to call him Blair. Then like Blair. <laughs> is Bear Grylls even doing anything these days? Nope. He did all of his videos and he's like, I'm dead. I'm just sniping with the revolvers, they run back and forth, idiotic. He's got a revolver! I really can't make that jump.
God, did you ever see that video where Bear Grylls, he tries to eat, like, a, a fucking stink bug, and it, like, when he bites into it, it fucking blows up in his mouth, and it runs all down his chin. It's got, like, this black liquid. It's like, oh, oh, I eat it, and it runs all down front of my chin. Oh, God. No, Snake, shouldn't on. you be used to that? Mm -hmm. I, I don't eat you stink You keep setting bugs. yourself up for this. God damn it, Jerry. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Blair said, my last name is Blair and I like to drink my own piss. <laughs> I guess you could say that's good Anya. Who's Anya? <laughs> oh, silly British people hey. on fetishes. Yeah. Also, oh I have blocks. This is so fucking loud. I don't know how loud this is in the stream, but I can't hear a thing over my headset. Let me unmute it. But all these Commonwealth people, they're always into the weirdest stuff. The only people into weirder things are the Germans. Uh... It's not that loud over the stream. It's... I mean, I have a headset on. I don't know about other people, because, you know... Sensitivity! But it doesn't sound that loud. Uh, Bear Grylls did do a small series called Urban Survival. I have no idea what it was about, though. Really? I think it was like, if a nuke blows up in your city, don't panic. If a nuke blows up in your city, you're fucking dead. <laughs> yeah, that's basically the essentials. Don't stand outside when it blows up, dummy. few people in the facility are authorized to know about. The same technology that brought about this catastrophe... You're in this together. Way out. You see, I was involved in the very early work on teleporter technology, long before the Lambda complex... What is going on in the stream chat? Like, I, I didn't haven't really been say looking, the and, like, were I don't know what people are talking about. Oh, no, I said so something about stuff. how the British and all the people in the Commonwealth have the weirdest fetishes. I love that stereotype of, like, this rich snobby british guy that's just into all this weird crap <laughs> yeah <laughs> like the only that ones start? that are weirder though are austrians and the germans because it's like you have all this weird oh god german, german like, porn dungeons. Of porn. yeah <laughs> it's like the german porn dungeons <laughs> Oh wow, how did that grenade do that? It's like, uh, you had that South Park episode, or no, it was the movie where it's like, is it Eric Cartman's mom? It is Cartman's mom! She's in a German Scheiza video. Wow. Oh god, I left to go get food and I came back to get porn. Did you see the, uh, like the weird cosmetic Jeez, that facial fetishes? Yeah, I know. Like, over also in India? I like how Bear went to say something to Snake and just started interrupting him. That was so good. <laughs> go, bye, um, go, go ahead, please. No, I already finished. Oh. <laughs> no, now you're not going to hear it. Oh. This that is, is what you've done. Said. Oh. No, I got a I shotgun too. I came back from my forever of silence to be interrupted. Yeah. I heard what you said. <laughs> So apparently there's a place called Marianne's Ice Cream, and they have an ice cream flavor that's called garlic. Ooh. Is that as bad as like the bacon flavored jelly beans and bacon maize? You say bacon maize? Oh, yeah, wait, well, bacon flavored that mayonnaise. That Dude, that's like... Okay, so I don't know if you saw that video I made about that candy shop downtown. Uh... <laughs> but... That candy shop downtown is one of the weirder candy shops that has like just awesome stuff in there and also weird stuff like all their soda flavors they have in there. Uh, they have one that's bacon soda, which is kind of like bacon is good and all, but that doesn't work with everything. But then they have other soda like freaking mayonnaise soda and like all this really disgusting shit. That doesn't seem like it fit with a candy shop because mayonnaise isn't candy. Although make it candy. Like, I would tell you just go watch the video on it my vlog down. Candy really Skittles. They also had something called Stalinade, which is amazing. Stalinade is delicious. So is Leninade. Raptor got something called Dinosaur Dung. 
Oh god damn it. <laughs> Which was like chocolate uh, soda of some sort. There was one that was called Dragon Jewel that was like black licorice and he didn't realize it was black licorice until he started drinking it. It's like, god, this is fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> he oh, also got dang. um mint soda and he was like, he kept drinking it, making all these weird faces and like, what does it taste bad or something? It's like, yes, it tastes like I'm drinking just straight up Listerine that I paid for it, so I'm gonna fucking drink it. <laughs> <laughs> I know that feeling. Uh, shit, this tastes like crap but I paid for it. Well... I can't let yes, it go that's, to waste. That's another thing. It had ranch dressing soda. Uh, <laughs> uh, God. It's like no. that's like the worst. You buy like the worst booze you can think of, but it just sits in your freezer for like half a year, and you're like, I can't throw it out. I mean, I see. Living in Portland, I don't really have that problem since Portland is like beer central. Yeah. Like I don't. I swear. Sometimes I think I'm like in the wrong city. As much as I love living here. Weed is legal, and we have the best beer you'll find in the world, aside from Germany. And I don't care to drink, and... You have everything. <laughs> that's just Portland, that's not a Cascadian thing. Uh, but I don't care to drink, and weed is legal in both Washington and Oregon, so... Wait, weed is legal in Oregon now, too? Yeah, it got yeah. voted yeah, they... about four months ago. It's technically fully going to be legal in, like, July, but they pretty much have dropped all criminal charges against anyone forever yeah. ago. That's pretty uh, solid. Jarek, you know what's funny? So, it's legal in state, but it's not legal for federal law. So, if anyone in the federal system sees you with it, they can technically arrest you. Like, the cops already didn't give a shit about weed. Well, exactly. Like, I saw people just smoking weed in a park, and the cops will walk up and be like, Yeah, you should probably do that at home, and just leave. Like, they don't care. <laughs> like, they have also, way more things to deal with that are more important. Yeah. So that was that squeaky noise from the, the same noise as that cart made in Half-Life 2 when you're leaving Ravenholm. <laughs> that? <laughs> <laughs> that was a wonderful squeaky noise. So, Jake, have you uh, seen anything of the Mortal Kombat X yet? I have. Uh, so, I was watching some of the, uh, the campaign video of it that they have, and, uh, this guy, Chinook, like, he's, like, some mage guy, uh, he, people are shooting at him, and he's walking up, and he's like, bullets are useless against me, but later on, they beat him by punching and kicking him, and someone made the best thing ever, because it's like, bullets are useless against me, and then below it's like, oh god, fist, my only weakness. Doesn't make fucking sense. So, I like how I'm making all these gay jokes about Snake, when your avatar is what it is and you're a rabbit, so... Shut up. Yeah, it's like, got this giant cum shot all over your face. <laughs> People with no context to what's going on in the Skype call are gonna be like, "What the fuck is happening?" You think, like, it, it, wait, what's my avatar? Oh God! It's just a dumb. <laughs> oh, oh, it's just a dumb oh, thank God! I thought it was one of those other avatars. <laughs> I'm gonna make like a virus that all it really does is just infect your Skype and change it to random pictures you have on your hard drive. <laughs> oh, TMS. For a second there, I thought you said on my FA gallery. Oh. I don't know. I don't know how you say. His name TMS Sh Shield, Shield. The freaking fatalities in that game are amazing. They're glorious. Dude, I'm pretty sure I like really, really don't care about what people see on my FA. I just don't. I don't care what people end up thinking about me or how I actually work. <laughs> I like how people don't understand that the difference between what you quote unquote do between anthro fictional creatures and what you will do between a male human is not relevant. See, like male dudes are not a turn on me. I'm sorry, I just can't. Like, dicks are a turn off. <laughs> like, I have nothing against people that are gay or gay marriage or anything. Like, if I was into it, I'd be into it, but it just it doesn't work. Yeah, you work. fucked them online. <laughs> yeah, that's totally how that works. <laughs> You're so dangerous. God, you faggot. Hey, at least they're not a snake that can't gag. <laughs> hey, what? Drop. Stop picking on my lack of a gag or reflex. 
No, yeah. snakes cannot gag. So how do you right. think they eat? The more you know. Charging sequence now. Be ready, Mr. Calhoun. Once the field is open, it will become Jack, very I've quickly. seen plenty of people eat dicks like Simmons, that. Whoa, Sky it's first ready. game just, I guess, dropped and yeah. rejoined? Yep, it did. But it's working okay. fine now. This news just in from Tumblr. Samus is, in fact, a trans woman. <laughs> what? Okay. Samus Aaron is now a trans woman, according to Tumblr. Okay, then. Jarek is the most non for. for Wait, someone typoed my name as Jarkek the other day. <laughs> but yeah, well, this one put a T instead of a K at the end. Yeah, that was Sky. Jarkek. Oh. <laughs> Jarkek. <laughs> oh, I get it now. It's so ah. low. <laughs> it's so I funny not get that. It's true. Dude, you have no idea how weird our conversations get. This is a really tame conversation. No, Victor Tal Vladimir. Jarek does not have a fursuit. I do not. Uh, the reason I do not is because that would cost a lot of money. Yeah, two thousand dollars. Like, uh, see, the thing is, like, I'm not gonna go halfway into getting one because one, those look like terrible. <laughs> when people try to make a budget suit, like, what did you do and why did you do this? Yeah. Um, but uh. Jarkov. Yeah, it's like I'm going. <laughs> I've, I've heard that one before. But <laughs> if I'm going into it, I'm going to go full into it. You know, and spend a lot of money to make it actually accurate and look nice. Not only just look nice, but look like, you know, badass. Kind of. yeah, that's my biggest problem with most fursuits is they make him look almost like mascots, where it's like huge and fluff and attempting to be cute. It's like, I have no interest in this. This just looks like really dumb. Or they'll put a squeaker toy in it. <laughs> Those just amuse Squeakers. me, honestly. <laughs> Uh, one of them at Rainforest last year had something like that, uh, and it was in the tail, and people just kept stepping and stepping on his tail to make it squeak. <laughs> that would annoy the fuck out of me. But, Someone um... stepped on my tail too, and I'd be like, shove. <laughs> yeah, it's like, at first, I was just kind of like, first suit seemed like a stupid idea, because all I saw was like, the really, really dumb, goofy ones. And then you go to a con, and you see all the ones that are like, this is the stuff you can see in like, a Hollywood movie that's not like a horror movie. The ones that are like, actual nice creatures and whatnot. Fursuits done right look amazing. Just incredibly fun. Oh, you missed tree. Now I can, now I can hit you. Oh god, I forgot about that glitch. <laughs> so unmute the stream momentarily. Because forcing a heterosexual relationship on animals is oppression. This just in. <laughs> Wait, what? Dear God, <laughs> oh, no, I'm muting the stream. Tumblr. That fucking noise. <laughs> oh, here's yeah, a good one. That glitch uh, has always happened. It's amazing. Uh, presidential bus. Uh, President Obama doesn't care about black people. He's racist as fuck. Oh, he helps everyone but black people, meaning he's racist. Yeah, Telephone goes to uh, Rand first every year. I've never actually talked to her. Like, I see her, and I'm pretty sure I've got her recorded in a few videos on my vlog account, but I've never actually, like, physically got to know her. Which is strange, because, it's like, the people that you get to know, it just kind of happens. Like, at this point, Solpler's a, a local fur, and a friend of mine at this point, that we just kind of hang out and talk. Um, I've, I talked to Chojo off and on, because she lives in Seattle. And how that ended up becoming into being was that Raptor and Komodo noticed her sitting near the dealer's den and started talking to her. And I, you know, I don't hate her. I have no opinion about her or anything like that. But I wasn't really too into her art. Like, I was more indifferent about it. And they started talking and then the conversation ended. So I just like, ah, fuck it, whatever. And just jumped in and started talking. Um, and we just kind of started talking about Northwest stuff. And then Raptor and Komodo were kind of standing there like awkwardly quietly. Because, I mean, Raptor moved in from Maui. Komodo moved in from LA. So they have no idea what we're talking about. And I like nope. felt bad. <laughs> <laughs> they both came in from heat states. The West Coast is the best coast. Aye. West Coast. <laughs> SMG crowbar. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, Rainforest is definitely one of the larger cons around. I think, what, it's like fourth largest in the world right now? Dang. I mean, 
mean, last year it had like 2,600 people show up or so. They have really, really outgrown the hotel. Like, I'm serious when I say that. And they need to get a bigger hotel, but it's gonna be in the same hotel again. Like, why? <laughs> they need one, a bigger one, so badly. It's too crowded. They're having to turn down a lot of people that want to go to the dealer's death. In your game, do you have a flashlight? Is that that light? Yeah. That flashlight's really bad in Blue Shift. And Half-Life 1 overall. I was gonna say, is it, it seems to me like the flashlight has a auto locking mechanism thing. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, it's it's weird. It's like you can't look by. In uh, in Op Four, you get these nice little night vision devices. They're really lovely. Yeah, they had this weird like green grain over them that kind of just looked like you were looking through a TV that was green colored. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi. <clears throat> so I was gonna say something earlier, but I totally fucking blanked. <laughs> California love, screw California, California is terrible. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, what? Is that, is that <laughs> Get I've been to California once. On California. California is terrible and you know it. I've been to California once and that was during October. Hey man, California is the best state ever. If eh. you like having no water and hey, lots and lots hey, of taxes. Man, we had like three days of rain this year. We have lots of water. <laughs> I like it when the uh, Northwest are like classifying. It, bro. I like it when the Dude. Northwest are like classifying Oregon and Washington as being in a drought and I'm just like. Dude, it could not rain for three years and we would still be fine because of the glaciers we have up here. Yeah. But Jerry, that's a funny thing. He just said it rained for three days. They have plenty of water. <laughs> like, <laughs> get up in Washington's level scrub. <laughs> but, you know, as soon as we finish that, uh, that second pipeline to Colorado so we can steal the rest of their water. <laughs> yeah, you guys Everything will be okay. Water. <laughs> you know, it's like as I long like as a, Colorado quits their bitching and finally shares. I like how Oregon is just kind of like, no, get your own water. We've like declined your offer so many times. <laughs> like, we already give you plenty of water, we don't need to give you any more. Like, Colorado's like, no, you can't have them. Like, California basically goes, shut up! Just shut your mouth and deal with it, bitch. <laughs> as a. As a legitimate point, something I told Komodo when he first moved in here, because he moved in from moved in from LA, I told him if you get any weird look or like people hating you, it's not because you're black, it's because you're Californian. People in Oregon legitimately do not like people from California. Like <laughs> Especially from SoCal. Oh, oh. Oh. It's true. People up here legitimately do not like California. Oh, I feel so discriminated against. Oh my god, you're triggering me with all this discrimination. Get triggered, oh. son. Would giving this you a dick is such make an unsafe okay? place. I need a safe someone. So much racism against my people. We're being kept down by the man. <laughs> Who's talking man. about having shitty water that tastes terrible. Do you know how Northwest water is? We have some of the best water in the world. It is very <laughs> delicious. Like, the tap water here is like, you have no reason to buy bottled water because the tap water tastes better. And that's something I hate about going to California. Every time I shower, my skin feels like irritated. Oh, it's not that bad. It's horrible. Like, I'm talking no, about that's, that's mostly in Los Angeles. If you go to San Diego, the water's far more clean. It's still not very nice in San Diego. Although I do like San Diego. Some of the places in California that I'm okay with. Well, that's why I live in San Diego. It's been far better than that shithole up north. Well, that's not really that hard, though. <laughs> no, the bar's set pretty low if you're in Compton. So what did I hear about someone saying, rest in peace, confuzzled? Did confuzzled, like, stop happening? Or am I missing something? Wait, what's confuzzled? Uh, if I remember correctly, it is the Furcon in England. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I might be wrong with the location. I seem to remember that being where it is. Oh gosh, so many cons these days. 
What do I remember with that one con in like the town on the east coast where two fursuiters started fucking on the hood of a car out front? Dude, I love all these like horror stories of cons and then you go to a con and it's like the most tame thing you've ever seen in your life. Well, apparently the, the con there, it was fine except for that one incident and uh, then they like that caused the whole con to just get kicked out of town. Wait, what ha which which incident are you talking about? Uh, there was a, a small con, and uh, I believe that the con in particular, they uh, were holding some kind of event. Like a large part of the proceedings were going to help buy like a uh, new vehicles for the local fire department. And on like the fifth day of the con, uh, two fursuiters uh, who were smashed off their ass, they started fucking each other on the hood of a car, like right in front of the hotel. And, uh, the town was not happy. I don't know why the town would freak out. Okay, the Easter eggs in a different location where I am right now. I don't know why the town would freak out. You figured just the hotel would be mad. Like, how well, the hotel was the wasn't happy either. Like, uh, the whole, whole bad PR thing. Like, Rainforest and Ferlandia is pretty, uh, well, it's ran into the same people, so, I mean, basically the same con. They're pretty specific on what they would like to have happen and not happen. They take the rules somewhat seriously. Not, like, to the point of where they're going to, like, harass you, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> You're not really going to see any issues or anything arise out of it. Like, I still laugh at, like, the first year for Landia. Just the way it came about, it was planned kind of poorly. It happened very last second. Uh, half of the funding literally came from MTV, and they were there, like, filming. But nothing happened out of that. They like scrapped all the film. So there was this huge drama about everything, and, and nothing happened at the con. So that's why they had to scrap the film, is because there was nothing worth like recording. Like it basically just felt like a large local permit. Oh, MTV nerds, you're so your... terrible. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just going through your national alien forest and destroying all your wildlife. Seems perfectly reasonable to me. I mean, for Christ's sakes, what the fuck kind of river is that? What is in there? Do you there? think there's actually water on them? Do you think that carbon-based life forms? They're yellow blood. I mean. This river is made of puke. Who is constantly throwing all that shit up? God, this like, that fucking scene in the Willy Wonka movie where they go down the river of nightmares. That's what I was thinking of when I saw this, to be honest. Mm. Like, uh, they, we're gonna go to a horrible place, and like he's just sitting at the front of the boat, and they, they're seeing all this weird fucked shit. If you want to see <clears throat> weird fuck shit, look at Jarek Skype. Uh, that is see true. I, I can't there. talk about that when it comes to Safi. Some of the things <laughs> Safi was doing at the con is just like, would you... Like, he was walking around practically naked half the time. <laughs> but it's like, he wasn't complete... Like, it wasn't like so bad to where it's like, I'm gonna walk around in full BDSM gear or something like that. He was just there and it was a little out of the norm. Like, what are you doing? Wait, what was he doing? Oh. Safi, walking around in practically underwear, but not exactly. I don't know who Savvy is. He's someone that started Ferlandia. Not started it, started a part of the main group. So, like, rules are a little bit more relaxed with him, and if anyone else did that, they'd be like, Yeah, no, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, was it, uh... Was it Midwest Fur Fest, where, like, they banned, like, uh... BDSM gear, including, like, gas masks or whatever? Like, uh, fetish gear, I think. I was talking to someone and they, uh... There's not much to really ban. Like, the rules of Rain First, like, they have some adult stuff, but these, the places they have adult stuff is pretty much off of... away from everywhere else. Like, it's in a private location that is away from the, the quote-unquote family-friendly stuff, which really the con is, to be entirely honest, is really family-friendly. Like, you can take your kids there, and as long as they're accompanied with an adult, nothing will happen. Well, it's not uh, too rare I to see, take like, eight-year-olds in the dealer's den or so forth. That's really not. Like, you see people that are usually kind of, I don't know, the youngest you usually see are, like, younger, like, 14, 15-year-olds, stuff like that. But like typically, most people there are in their 20s, so. 
Like the first time I went to a con, I saw like a seven year old with like a little dinosaur outfit, like uh, just walking around the dealer's game floor. Or like DC. Yeah, it's amusing how exaggerated things get about fur cons. Like, nothing happens at them, honestly. Aside from the yeah. events that they had planned, there's nothing that's, like, bad enough to cause, like, the outcry of, like, drama. Especially, I mean, I granted that's coming from people that goes to Ferlandia and Rainforest. I don't go to other cons, and those are ran by fairly large organizations that have been around for decades at this point. So, yeah, it's kind of well-organized. Tame. Yeah, it's mostly, uh, all the weird stuff is usually just, like, uh, in people's rooms or, like, the private Yeah, parties. the private room party stuff. Or it's, like, uh, at 3 a.m. in the night. Like, the first time I went to a con, like, I had insomnia, so I was hanging out by, like, the riverfront by myself with, like, uh, my hoodie. And, like, some guy asked me if I was selling meth outside the con. Yep. Where were you? Oh, <laughs> what? No, well, no, not that time. So, yeah, have, have you guys heard about that, uh, that code that people can send over text and it'll crash iPhones? What is this? I need it. <laughs> yeah, fucking Apple users, they deserve it. I just send it to a friend of mine and see if it would work. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Uh, it's it's a bunch of uh, it's a mix of symbols and a little bit of Arabic texts. Damn. Arabic. God, do I hate those enemies? Do you remember when people were uh, like telling, uh, like sending them a fake bullshit message about how like a. Uh, this is how you can jailbreak and unlock the uh, source on your um, Xbone. And it oh was god, like, yeah, and it just and put like, into, like, it, developer put mode that in, you couldn't get rid of and just break it. Yeah, it put them into like a permanent reboot cycle and it effectively bricked your box. Wow. <laughs> it was hilarious. Oh god, it was so funny. You wonder how people get so bored to figure out things like this. It was probably just a, a developer themselves that leaked it. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's like uh, you only had to do like eight uh, button pushes uh, through settings and it did this. And uh, there's nothing you could do because your Xbone is essentially a computer, but you don't have access to it because it's all closed up. So you can't get in the back to reformat it, go back to factory settings. <laughs> uh, there's someone in chat that says that. Max OS is a thousand times better. Oh, fucking. Uh, do you like having a closed operating system? Sure. Fucking. Okay, smart. you cannot compare Windows 8 as the one thing that everyone uses, because that's so not fucking true. The Windows 8 is. Microsoft. Point, Windows 8's not even really that bad. It's just how the freaking user interface that was terrible. If you use Classic Shell, it's fine. Like. There you guys go. Microsoft themselves admitted that Windows 8 was a bad idea, dude. They admitted that the user interface was a terrible idea, because what the hell? Not everything is a mobile app. Like, why? Yeah. Like, I felt like I was using a fucking tablet on their laptops with Windows 8. But if you use Classic Shell, honestly, it's fine. It's pretty much Windows 7, but a little faster. I just use Windows 7 Home Premium. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what it's I still like, use, but it's like uh, Windows 8 wasn't enough of a quote unquote upgrade for me to want to use it, and I'll probably switch over on Windows 10 once it proves to be yeah. stable enough. <laughs> <laughs> Windows, uh, like, Microsoft <laughs> fucking hates it when people backtech to old operating systems because the current ones they release fail so spectacularly. Derek. ER. So, um, Gray is still in the Skype group. And I can I can see it on my second screen. <laughs> He's still playing this game. <laughs> I don't speak Dave. <laughs> Did it say I'm not receiving info? Okay. For a moment it said it wasn't receiving any more. Uh... I'm alt tabbed, by the way, so the stream should look strange. 
Okay, for oh, I said I wasn't receiving any, uh, receiving anything, but YouTube, you lie to me. It's working God perfectly damn it, fine. Goddamn, Mitsuki. Huh? Uh, every time I see your Avi, it's like, oh, it's so fantastic. <laughs> you people are all just jealous of me getting my high quality art for $50. <laughs> I got that one for free, so. Everyone gets pissed off when I tell them that. Because, like, the picture I have now that's, like, super high quality, uh, I only paid $50 for it when I should have paid, like, 200 But the reason yeah. that I only paid 50 for it is because you pretty much was like, hey, thanks for doing what you do for your aircraft community. I'm just gonna call you, charge you 50. Like, okay, I would have been more than happy to pay 200 for it. That's actually pretty solid. Didn't Reddit recently ban uh, salary negotiations? What does that mean? Huh. Like, there was a. Let me look it up real quick. Like someone mentioned what the hell does bipedal mean? It means to... How do you not know what that means? Oh, yep, oh, here it is. No, don't ask me. Uh, Reddit C... God fucking damn it, Pop-Up. No, I don't want to fucking join your site. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, Reddit CEO Ellen Powell banned salary negotiations. Oh, she lost four... Uh, she lost a... Silicon Valley gender discrimination suit on all four accounts. Oh shit, Reddit's down. Hmm. Oh, oh, she really? lost these, but she's going forward with plans to forcefully increase Silicon Valley's gender equality by banning the, like, uh, subreddits for salary negotiation because apparently, uh, uh, women aren't as aggressive when it comes to salary negotiation and it puts them at a disadvantage. Then that's your problem, bitch. You know, I saw a post the other day that someone was asking if, it, if uh, people felt it was true or not. And it said that um, women are stronger than men because uh, they can get... They get all this stuff put on them, but they can keep living. But if you hurt a man, they'll lay down and cry. And I was like... Honestly, it doesn't matter if you're a dude or a chick. It depends on the person. Did you see the UN report that was like, uh, women are super strong, but they're disadvantaged. So women are so powerful, they're the most powerful thing ever. But we need to bring them equal to men. So how are we going to do that? Men are the strongest thing ever. They need to take action right now. To ensure equality in every country around the world for the it poor make, disadvantaged. See, I don't really pay attention to these it things. I don't sense. even talk about them because they're kind of stupid and yeah, pointless, it's like so whatever. the most yeah. nonsensical report ever. It's it, if anything said about that, the first thing I go to it's it's the person, not your gender. Yeah, doesn't matter like if you have not it. talk about this on stream because this is really stupid. Yep, <laughs> we can't bring politics into this internet, guys. Politics. politics. <laughs> Politics. Okay, so talking about the picture I paid two hundred well, should have paid two hundred for. This one, with that quality, I'm completely okay. Hold on, I gotta open it in stream. I'm completely okay with paying two hundred for this quality, like That is really well done. I know, the person that made it is a graphical designer. This uh this picture has a lot of art. Jared, there's something it. missing it where your crotch is. I know you love dicks, but like, keep it to yourself. <laughs> Gay. <laughs> Gay. But yeah, for the quality of that, I mean, it honestly should have been more. Is it raining? Oh, whoops. Blood? Hold on. Let me try this again. I didn't realize I was streaming. There we go. <laughs> this is the picture I was referring to. So yeah, for this quality, I'm more than okay for paying for that. I had to alt tab every time. It's, every single time I alt tab, it does this. What your mouse cursor? No, no. I, every time I alt tab, the the stream goes away, and I had to press the hotkey again. Huh? God, why do I have SOS stuck in my fucking head now? Like the song. 
the whole the concept of the the picture is raining Bye. blood. So if you yeah. don't know what's in my hand, you'll be able to understand once I say that. Let me uh, let me see if I can get someone else in here. <laughs> Jake. Yep. <laughs> when is the not safe for work version coming? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I kind of already have a lot of porn on my FA as it's. We still Maybe. never found an artist for that one picture. That could be the oh god. Sorry, that's just soldiers came out of nowhere. Oh. <laughs> I'm like soldiers, what? There's soldiers in your house? Oh yeah, the stream's up. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you keep forgetting. Oh yeah. <laughs> After you shot him, it looks like he like was falling dead, but his arms were normal, and he just threw his gun out. He's like, nope, fucking done with this shit. I give up. <laughs> oh, fuck this. I'm out of here. You, you really, really Jarek, fantastic use of this actual. It worked. It killed him. So let me just throw this huge bomb at my feet. Yeah. <laughs> Ghost! Ghost, yeah. God damn it, dude. It took like 20 hits from a crowbar to the face to take the guy down. <laughs> he didn't want to go, man. All these buttons, if they don't work, they like part at you. <laughs> so, ghost? like, at the end of the game, like, the way your characters just uh, escape, or just spoil that, never mind. So, I like how the person in the chat's like, Raining Blood, I don't get it. My name is on Steam is Jarek Blood Dragon. How is How do you not understand? Well, you're, you ripped off a character from Far Cry, Jarek. That's the point. Yeah, oh, come on. What the fuck is that shit? Don't, we all okay, saw I'm that. I'm gonna feel part. really, really dense, but I'm not getting the reference. Blood Dragon. Oh. I thought you were talking about just original <laughs> Far Cry. Also, I didn't get. The... <laughs> I didn't think you were getting yes, your, that. Your character's based off Jack Carver. That's why I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" I thought you were talking about like some of those weird ass like demon things that were happening in the uh, original Far Cry games, like the. You're talking about the mutates or whatever yeah. they were called. Because I didn't fully play it because I didn't really care for Far Cry One. What was I talking about right now? That didn't click in my head because, like, you know, Blood Dragon and God Blood Dragon it, are two Jared. entirely different oh. things. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. I see you. So, oh, this is why we like you. Dragons are so derpy. You saw that jealous. they, you saw that they are putting up Black Mesa on Steam, right? Yeah, I already have it on Steam. Yeah. Why don't oh, you play it? I already did. I did a full stream of it. Where have you been? <laughs> I've been gone. <laughs> I've been gone. He's dude. been to the moon. Yeah. I'm playing here. I, I think you mean he's just showing people his move. I'd... Fuck you. For uh, <laughs> worldly purposes. I did both 747 Dragon. I chose my friends and then I fucked the girl. I didn't hear the first half of that because of all my shotgun sound effects, and I'm not sure I want to. <laughs> the Far Cry 3 choice. Uh, an unexpected error occurred while playing this video. Oh, uh, no, now it's bad. I blame Jarek. It's always his fault. Typically. I tend to wreck things. Every pun yeah, he, he wrecked Mitsuki's ass last night. Oh yeah, totally. Like, Midstream, like, too. Uh, Everyone yeah, totally saw it. And, well, they listened to it too. I mean. yeah. It was on delay, though. I mean, it, oh. why are there so many headcrabs down here? <laughs> they do no damage, and they're just really annoying. What the fuck? The, the steam, steam. What do you do? I can't. These freaking barrels are so hard to push. That's what she said. Well, that one is easy to push, Jesus. It doesn't look like a heart, but... What is Jones talking about? Don't worry, banana nana nana We got I this. I love the way they just shoot across with no friction. Eh, 
close enough. Oh shit, I think I needed more. Whatever, I can probably make it with just two. I got the Vortigon I wasn't aiming for with that grenade. Who's doing what to their mic? What? I'm sorry. No Shit. That's way too loud. My bad. I turned into a horse there for a second. He's still alive. Oh, that. Still living. Living's not allowed. Jerg, do you ever play CSGO? I typically do not. I respect the hell out of Counter-Strike, but like, it's not really my thing. 747 asks so. <laughs> what? 747 Dragon said, my MacBook Air runs Star Citizen at 200 FPS, two, or 4K graphics. Okay. Seems so, I understand that a game can run decently on a Mac, but why would you buy a Mac for gaming when, like, so, half the games that, can't even play? Saying that CSGO is a copy of Counter Strike Source with the point of making money is a really, really stupid statement that is just going to make everybody really mad. Like, I don't mean to be rude, but that's not something you could be saying. I don't mean to be derude. Dude. Fucking derude! That shithead. Do you know what I'm talking about? Jerry? Do you uh, know what derude I'm talking about? If you're just supposed to be referring to everything involving it, yes. Unless you're talking about a very specific thing, and then I have no idea what you're talking about. No, I'm talking about Dying Light. Oh, no. Derude's a fucking shithead. I don't play zombie games, so... I'm back. That, I could totally get into this and be like, Dying Light is not People zombies. are missing the whole point <laughs> of Counter-Strike. Someone was like, I tried Counter-Strike Source and people were way too serious with that game. That's the point of Counter-Strike! It's a competitive game! That's why exactly. I love it! Oh god, I had to get out of Counter-Strike Scrim Leagues. Like, that shit turned into a giant shit show. Dude, like, the thing with CSGO... That I had to stop playing CS:GO for was a fucking crates. I could not not control myself from wanting to open those. I'm like, you're talking ah, about the drop this. system. Well, I'm talking about the crates in general. You get a crate, and you're like, fuck, I want to open it. Yeah, I I couldn't make the transition to CS:GO. Like it was just <sighs> so different. I got pissed off because this YouTuber I watch on YouTube, obviously, uh, his name is what was it, uh, Phantom Lord. And he did this unboxing video, and he's like, uh, like the first, I think, 20 crates, he's like rapidly unboxing and clicking, and he's like, super fast unlock! And he got like four fucking knives that are over $300 in the first 10. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck you, I'm done watching this. What else did he get? Did you see what he got? I stopped watching! I was oh. pissed. I'm like, nope, fuck this. Oh, oh, that's glorious. 
It's ridiculous. Um, that takes me back to the early days of the TF2 uh, hat drop system. Yeah. Where like people were paying like a thousand dollars for is like a. Uh, actually, someone actually complaining about Counter Strike having similar gameplay or CS:GO having basically the same dev like, gameplay as the older ones. I mean, it's not entirely that's the fine. same, but that's why, why would it be a sequel if it had entirely different gameplay? I don't get that. Yeah. Well, it would be like, an entirely I've never understood different game. Show up. I've never understood when people like complain, like say the difference between Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 4. Far Cry 4 is basically more of Far Cry 3 in a different environment with more weapons. So like, why is that a bad thing? I like Far Cry 3, I want more Far Cry 3, but I want a new full game. So here we go, you know. Yeah. Your stream's like fucking up on Steam. Yeah, that, that would be Steam doing Steam. <laughs> this guy died. That would be Steam being Steam. Well, Steam would obviously also be skydiving, of course. <laughs> Wait, how did that guy just die? What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> he was really hurt and just kind of decided to die. No, he was like, oh. he was like, oh, oh, Jake. oh. He looked like he was humping his own hand. So Jake. Like, oh. <laughs> Fucking the stream like started working. He stood up, fell over, and died, and then it stopped working again. So I'm like, what? What did like I do? We got see? a glimpse of this guy's final moment. Yeah, it's like, hey, look at this. Oh, I'm gonna stand up. Dead. Wait, what? <laughs> and then it's like, up. Oh, steam is a like it steam looks like he briefly crazy. thrust his hips as he died. <laughs> I want to die happy. <clears throat> Insert payload. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh baby. Hey, I think that's all I need to do down here, and I'll just go back up to the tall border. Maybe possibly. There's a lot of analog bullshit in Black Mesa. What do you mean by analog bullshit? Like, uh, instead of everything being digital, where it's, like, computerized, you can just run it with the push of the button from, like, a central location. It's, like, all uh. switches and manual. Like, See, uh, that's why I really like CSGO and Counter-Strike in general. It, like... It rewards you for playing well and punishes you, punishes you really, really hard for bad decisions and not playing perfectly. Yeah. Like, We've that's that's the exact reason why people like Smash Brothers Melee compared to Brawl. Like, <laughs> that's the whole point of a competitive game. So, Victor, what the fuck are you... He said, I only play zombies in CSGO. There's a zombies mode in CSGO. There is. There was, uh, there's multiple <laughs> versions of zombies. Like they made a super old version back when CSS oh, came out, oh, and it okay. was just the T's versus like 50 uh, CT bots. <laughs> Jones, I'm pretty obviously very sure. Okay, I, I didn't know if you're talking to Vlad or Jarek, but pretty sure Jarek's played Killing Floor. <laughs> he's he's not. He's just talking to the chat. Okay. Um, <laughs> But yeah, that like, kind of uh, that kind of zombies is way different than like Killing Four. But I've never understood why people want to play like all the zombies in Killing Four around because it's so much fucking better to play Killing Four. Exactly. Oh man. The last time I played uh, Call of Duty Zombies was World at War. I didn't Nasty play any zombies. of the other ones. Yeah, World at War was my only. I played all the other ones, but World at War was the best. Like I didn't even play the expansions for the zombie mode in World at War. Because I'm sure as fuck not paying an extra, what was it, $45 for each, um, for all three of them. I just don't care about Call of Duty Zombies. Like, it does everything that I hate because you have really no freedom in what you can do. Like, you have to unlock sections in the map, you have specific guns you're going to end up getting as a random choice. Like, I wonder what it does with killing for. It's just give me an entire map and enemies to deal with. And then go to a trader and buy whatever the hell I want to with whatever perk. Like, mm -hmm. uh, well, along with the whole uh, like the fact that like the actual gameplay annoys me, because it's like you strafe zombies around the entire time and they get stronger each wave. That's what really annoys me. That shouldn't happen. Mm -hmm. yeah, by the time they get to wave, was it 30? You're basically fucked because they kill you in one hit. Well, you gotta use the pack punch hunt. thing, but yeah. Either way, that, that's like a huge pet peeve of mine. The one thing that, uh... Go ahead. Er, no, no, you go ahead. No, I was just gonna, like, go on with the Jerk's thing about how uh, the nice free roaming levels and uh, killing floor were really nice and uh, the static stats for the zombies. Yeah. 
the the thing that irked me the most was there's no real objective in Nazi zombies. Yeah, you can never win. That's what annoys me. Like, I like being able to win. It's just more entertaining. You have a main goal to actually do. Yep. I believe there was, uh, they added something in, uh, Black Ops that was sort of like a, an end-level story that you could gradually unlock, but it wasn't actually a victory condition. And that was like the ultimate like conclusion of that was the moon level, where this whole dude. Like, I don't understand how people found out that shit. Like, yeah, it was so god dang ridiculously like like Nick's in the corner, you know. I hear Nixon. <laughs> well, yeah, you could play as Nixon. Yeah. Yeah, you could. Black Ops, man. Which is like, the Nixon. most fantastic really shit ever. I think my biggest Astro. problem. My biggest problem is that I respect how goofy Black Ops went with some of the ideas and stuff, but the gameplay wasn't good for me to care. Yeah. Well, it was the same thing again and again. Which is funny because I actually like Treyarch Call of Duty multiplayer. I hate the single player, but I, I like what they did with the multiplayer. It was they weren't just repainting it again. Like they, uh, like the unlock system of that was interesting, and the attempt to make the kill streaks not super death engine and destruction we're gonna fucking kill 15 people once you hit like uh your second kill streak oh okay do you know yeah. that they're gonna be bringing uh killing floor 2 to the ps4 i have been aware of that for a long time and i like tripwire's response with it basically saying no we're not neutering the pc version the ps4 version is going to be a toned down version we're going to do as much as we can but do not be expecting the basically what you're getting on pc yeah Thank you for being proper developers, Mark. I, I thought it was still pretty cool they that, did that. Because uh, there's no way a, a console version of that's going to go anywhere near as well. No. Especially with the aiming. Like, hey, here's a game about getting headshots. Use a controller. It's like Halo all well, over again. Well, well the, did you, that's uh, not the thing I was worried about. The thing I'm worried about is uh, there's no custom content shit. Or like PlayStation, and that's really the only reason why Killing Floor, the first one, lasted so long for me. Was all the custom content? Oh yeah, seizure warning to anyone watching the stream. <laughs> You're a little late, bro. <laughs> I love the ending of this. You guys just get in trucks and you fuck off from the top secret military complex, so they know all your names and addresses. Well. Right now, in this, aren't you actually one of the security guards? Yeah, yes. but you still work there. They have your name on file. Yeah. Oh, look. Look who it is. Mm. I, uh... I agree with Papa Goose. Battlefield 2142 was among the only good futuristic games I liked. Yeah, I, I love 2142. That's the case, I, I don't think we're really including here. Halo in this conversation. No. Futuristic no. Games. Halo's like, Halo's like way less. That's, that's we sci-fi, like, first yeah. shooter. That's not futuristic, that's sci-fi. We well, technically it's in the future, but yeah. Like, 2142 is near future uh, modern warfare type style. Yeah. I like how this is the only that's ending any Half-Life game where it's like... Hey, you actually win and don't get either fucked over by G-Man or something terrible happens. Well, your character just straight out says, "Fuck this, we are leaving," which is. Well, wouldn't you? Well, Jake. I'm fairly Half sure. Half-Life three confirmed. Half-Life three confirmed. I still uh, want. But yeah, it's a bit of a a console to PC, you know, versions of uh, Killing Four. Uh, there was actually like. Uh, a study done by Microsoft years ago when it came to um, what was better, and uh, they found that uh, the P uh, like the console uh, players uh, they just cannot mix. With no, PC they tried players. to do the cross-platform thing yeah, in a shooter this, and just got completely wrecked. So they're like, "We're not yeah. doing this ever again." Because it's like, yeah, that's. Uh, I like when people try to argue Fun? against it, where it's like. No, it's only because you're used to a keyboard and mouse instead of a controller. It's like, no, I'm sorry. You have aim assist for a reason. A mouse is always better. We don't need aim assist. That gets in our way. Do you remember that huge article that Tripwire did where they specifically talk about the aim assist and how uh, consoles essentially have to put in all these special little things to help deal with the uh, 
the lack of uh, aim and such. Dude, I love how Tripwire approaches things. They have unintentionally and very subtly shat all over how Call of Duty has mar changed the market and consoles in general. Yeah, there are <laughs> there are so many articles published by them talking about that, dude. They well, they are published hate. by them. They're published by people interviewing them. But uh, yeah. yeah. So let's see how how long does that take me to beat Blue Shift? Blue Shift is a really really yeah. uh, short game. Yeah. <laughs> Compared to the other Half Life games, let's see. It is that only took me an hour and fifty minutes, so close to two hours. Wow. And that was with me like stopping and stuff. Yeah. Okay. That well, is short. Yeah, it's it's definitely the shortest of the expansions. Um it's fun. I do like what see this is the one where like Zen felt pretty much like Half Life One did in this game. And it didn't have that really wonky jumping puzzle feeling to it. Now you like, just need opposing... to load up a zero sheep. We all know how much you love that. <laughs> oh Wait, my god. Which one? See, I liked point of view, and then <laughs> Zero Sheep is just like, what the fuck? Why am I escorting this bitch around that's like not grateful at all, that dies all the time, and why are they making me run through enemies without any weapons at time? But you the get only the... good thing about it was the pulse rifle. That's yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> you get well, what's that next? pulse rifle, the M forty one. You can fight some xenomorphs. <laughs> there is plenty of uh, alien mods, funny enough. I still like how there was an aliens mod for half or for half life for killing Left for one. Dead? No, for killing for one there was an aliens mod that was actually pretty well oh, done, yeah. but there was like There's an aliens issues. mod for every game, bro. It was done so well though, but it had bouncing issues with the final boss. It was like not killable. Yeah, no. It, it's it was sad I remember the that. Alien. It was the queen. Yeah, that was bullshit. We could never kill it. I think we killed it once. Not with me. We played it like six times, and I was like, "Fuck it." Fuck I killed it once. Uh, you I killed it. An, I uploaded another one where like she glitched through a wall and killed all of us because it's like you could not expect that to happen. It's like, what the fuck is this bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's sad that aliens will be better realized in third-party mods than they can in shit like Aliens Colonial Marines. Well, hey, Alien um, two thousand ten. Isolation did a really good job. Oh yeah, I have to give hands to Isolation. I always forget about that. I mean, it it's basically Alien One. That's that was what Dude, a lot of people wanted. Well, that's what the, they were working for. You the know? first Aliens vs Predator game was the best, in my opinion. Like the two thousand. God, I love that one? game. Yeah, uh, I the love second that game. one was I think was pretty nice as well. You know? <laughs> Someone's name in here is Seven Four Seven Dragon. Are you a plain Sona? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's the thing I loved about it though. Was like, the like if you went with the predator side, the first thing you were doing was you appeared in the the forest set there, and then you were just killing random scientists. So you're like, doo -doo -doo -doo. you're dead. <laughs> okay, well I beat Blue Shift and I beat Half Life Source and I have beaten uh, Black Mesa and Opposing Force within the last like week or so. I love how I did an entire stream of Black Mesa just in one sitting was like eight and a half hours jeez <laughs> like halfway through i was like i feel like quitting now and no, i'm gonna keep playing and I ended up beating it um so yeah i've done that i might do another stream of a i can't remember what the half-life one mod is called it's like half-life awesome i know a lot of people like that mod and i've never actually played it it has <laughs> like new weapons and new enemies and stuff so i have no idea also jones that defeats the point what he said is, what I really hate about Alien Isolation is that you can't kill the alien. Like, you're missing the fucking <laughs> point of the you're game! To hide the the, the whole it. game would fall kill apart it. if you pulled a shotgun it would, like, out of a locker <laughs> and blew its fucking face off in the first five seconds. It's, it's like, the, the game, the game does... is five minutes, whatever, I win. It's like how you can sit at the beginning of Far Cry 4 for 15 minutes and beat the game. <laughs> what? Really? Yeah, you didn't know that? There's an alternate ending. No, I've just... never played it. Well, wait, there's wait, an wait. alternate ending at the beginning of Far Cry 4. If you don't move for 15 minutes, you can the final boss, what would be the boss, Pig and Min comes back and just kind of is like, hey, whatever, what's up? Everything's okay. <laughs> and the game's over. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> so wait, and then everything was fine in whatever country? Dude, the story makes no sense in Far Cry 4. They don't explain anything. For all you know, you join some terrorist organization. Like, you don't know who's the good guy or the bad guy. They give me no reason to think that Pagan Min is the bad guy when you're running around killing all their soldiers and everyone's killing each other. Like, it really just feels like you joined a terrorist organization. Yeah. Like, the story well, was poorly written in Far Cry 3, but in Far Cry 4, the story was just unpolished and unfinished. Yeah. So who was the guy you were actually, like, there to take down, you know? 
You, you weren't there, there to take, take down no one. Down. You were the there only... to spread your... Oh, was it your mother's ashes? Yeah, like your mother died and you were just going to that country to spread her ashes. That's it. That's the only reason what? you were there. So you have no reason to even stay there. You're just listening to these orders from some, like, rebel groups when it's just like, why am I here? I could have just left. Yeah. You could have fucking tossed her ashes in a fucking mud puddle on the side of the road and fucked <laughs> off. Here you go, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's so like, fucking evil. Sorry, so but this country's a little unstable at the moment. This will have to do. I'm pretty <laughs> I'm sure you, you wouldn't want you your one and only son to be going through all this fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna join you. I'm to be made. I'm not gonna join you. I'm not ashes yet. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like uh, you go to like the side of the cliff and you just toss her bot, her bot, her body in the bottle off. You know. <laughs> To, What's I'm sure they put her entire body in that, just crammed it in, not even ashes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jack, back to the alien isolation, though. The one thing that did irritate me, though, is you could save up so much and then flamethrower the shit out of that thing and shoot it like crazy and it wouldn't die. Like, I understand the point of it's not for that to die, but being able to do that and it not dying just felt weird. Well, I still remember what the freaking... It's a regular was. xenomorph, isn't it? Yeah, so it's well, not that hard to kill with guns. Well, it's been established dude. that drones are easy as shit to kill, dude. Like, a pistol like just takes a few shots in the AVP games, and you'll blow that fucking thing's feet off. I still I remember what the flamethrower did in AVP 3 to the aliens. Yeah. I like, flailed around uh, and then exploded and killed anything nearby. I never understood why they really exploded. Was it their blood or? I don't know. It was uh, like suicidal to use a flamethrower. You remember in the for very first AVP game, like in 2001, where uh, they were crawling all over the walls. And if you lit them up, they'd fucking go nuts and just jump all over. And then they just burst and their blood would fly like 20 fucking meters and it would kill you instantly if it hit you i don't remember that i never tried flaming him so uh, okay so i've been sitting at the main menu of blue shift i should probably end the, the stream as we're talking but no we have so much more to talk about here <laughs> let's talk about how amazingly gay you are this I, is no, no this we have is... established that that is a lie, sir. <laughs> I Jake, think there are plenty of pictures enough. that would show well, otherwise. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Jake. Half okay, of this enough. Is no, Sue, be... hold, hold on for a moment. <laughs> uh, the stream is going to be done. I will probably be streaming a Half Life mod uh, sometime soon, and then after that, I don't know what I'm going to be streaming. I will most likely be doing Killing Floor 2 before then because a new map came out and I have not recorded it yet and I haven't even played it. So. I will eventually get to playing Killing Floor 2. A lot of people have been asking me in the stream chat and in comments, like, hey, a new update, go go play it. Uh, and I will. So you don't need to keep yelling that at me. I will play it <laughs> at some point or another. I never understood those comments because it's like, out of all the games I've played on my channel, Killing Floor is one of the ones that has the most videos. So it's obvious I'm going to keep playing it. <laughs> anyway, that's that's the stream. I'm ending the stream now. So thanks for showing up, and see you later, guys. Bye! Bye.